Hello, everybody. My name is Barbara Zerogan Williams. That's Barbara Zerogan Williams. I can be found at smartdog.com, smartdog.com, which takes you directly to uh, a Facebook page that's under construction. Now, this is a pretty little girl. Now, she has her mask showing an early age. Now, this mask will get lighter and lighter and a little bit bigger. Her eyebrows will get lighter and lighter and a little bit bigger. And this is an, an exercise or a requirement to do on Chanel's is you want to train their beard to go forward. Train the beard to go forward. So you kind of want to do this every day. And then you want to work with their feet every day because in order to groom them, whether it be you or the groomer, the groomer has to be able to See how stiff this stuff is? The puppy, the groomer has to be able to work with the puppy's paws. So when you take this puppy home, you want to, for example, play with it and stimulate the bottom of the puppy. And then what I do is I go in between here, normally with a clipper, and in between all the um, little toes, because that's what you or the groomer needs to do because you don't want excess hair here and you want to get the top of this a little bit so you can better see the toenails so i'm going to show you what i've done especially with puppies you can do this up to about one year and what it is is this is actually from the dollar tree dollar 29 and it's in the cat section however you can go to chewy if you prefer, and pay $6.99 or $8.99 to get a pair exactly like this from Chewy. So I just go in here and I look for the end of the toenail, then I go up and just before I get to that kind of mountain in the nail or the little dip in the, uh, the thing that goes over, I don't want to cut into there because they will bleed. If they bleed, don't freak out. They might go, oh, and then they're good. The blood goes away on its own. It's like truly not a big deal. I mean, you don't want to do it. You certainly don't want to do it on purpose. Um, that's obvious. And this puppy's been handled. But, you know, they come out of the womb. They are very active. Or I should say the vulva. And they're very active and very hard to handle. They can almost jump right out of your hand at, at birth. So, um, I think I might have cut these just the other day, so I'm just going back through just on the very ends because as a puppy, oh my goodness, they grow so fast. And then they're sharp, just like a razor blade. I mean, seriously, just like a razor blade. And so, um, you don't want them accidentally breaking your skin because it hurts a little bit and kind of scars your arm. And then uh, here's the grooming. I groom my dogs. You groom with the way the hair grows. Okay? And where did my clippers go to? They're around here somewhere. So I'm going to just do a touch up. She's already been groomed. So you're going to go like this. And she's just getting, actually this is a boy. He's just getting a touch up. Okay, and I do the tail. Must do the tail. You wanna keep this area clean because when they do their business, it can actually get stuck there and then you got an awful mess. So you wanna keep this area uh, cut down I'd say even work on cutting this area alone once a week. And if you're grooming your own dog and you want them to look great, groom them every two to three weeks, which if you're a groomer of the puppy, which you can see is easy to do, um, you come down on the head and then I do the ears. You never go this way and you never go this way. Okay. You never go this way on the ear but you also never go this way, straight down on the ear, because it can grab the side of the thing. You go with, 
out. And then you won't hurt your puppy. Now you can go like this. Oops, come on, baby. You can go like this on the side into your finger and you make a nice little cut for it to look nice and clean. Now you cut. A bigger dog, you'd want to stop the beard right here. But this is a smaller puppy, and I want people to be able to see the mask and what's coming in. So I cut down further, okay? And I do it, of course, on both sides. So as you can see here, I'm cutting from the ear. They can hear now, so here's a little something here. Cut down to there, to the other part of the eye. Then you cut underneath the neck. And I think that's about it. I do the eyebrows as a V. I know you can't really see his head. Try not to cut off those eyebrows, but you do it as a V. You don't cut down too far because you'll get that eyebrow. And there you see a nice little snazzle cut. Look at that. Not bad for an amateur. And I never took grooming lessons. And I just cut them soon enough that I can follow the line. So now I also do with these puppies exercises that are called biosensor exercises. They should be done every day. And if you're a small enough dog, I would continue to do it after you take your puppy home because it actually helps develop a higher level of intelligence, temperament, character, and everything else, and the ease of being touched and held. So I put them on their back, which is a part of the exercises, and then I hold them on their back. Now watch his head dry and see his legs dropping. He's more and more comfortable until I move. Till I move. This mate Buffy is a serious, serious puppy. Let's see. Oh, this is not a boy. This is another little girl. A white colored girl. Oh. So of the girls, we have white, red, purple, and pink. Of the boys, we have black, turquoise, navy blue, and I forgot the fourth one. And um, anyway, there you have it. Barbara Williams from just outside the San Francisco Bay Area. He's saying goodbye, work your legs, goodbye. And my phone number is 209-233-1929. That's 209-233-1929. I have seven puppies available. I have um, four girls and two boys. Yes, one girl already has her forever home. I'm accepting a small deposit. And then you pick up the rest when you pick up the puppy, or I fly the puppy in. And my email address is smartdogtoday at gmail.com. And my website that's under construction is smartdogtoday dot com so www.smartdogtoday.com email address is smartdogtoday at gmail.com so smartdogtoday at gmail.com and these are just lovely 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 puppies and I love handling them and I love petting on them and watching them go now they started eating early and they started eating about, let's see, three weeks old. And they're eating whole food already. Mom is still nursing them, of course. But they also get to eat whole food to supplement because they're growing real fast. This is another two pound one. So I'm real proud of my puppies. And they make very good homes. I teach them at five to six weeks old to not bark or to stop barking on command with the word quiet. And as you can hear in the background, there's no dogs barking and they're right behind me. They're very, very quiet. You can't tell me that this little girl isn't a good looking girl. 
Her grandfather is a grand champion. His fa her father is drop-dead gorgeous. And she has about 17 uh, champions in her genealogy. So as you can see, she's pretty comfortable for a three-week-old to come up and be king. Bye for now.